If you need a high quality logo for your business, a profile picture for social media, or you're just interested in typography and you already have a little bit of experience with Stable Diffusion, this video is gonna show you a workflow on how you can turn your vision into reality using all free tools. We're gonna to start in a free Photoshop type of application called Photopia, but of course, any type of image editing application will do. I'm gonna to go to File, New, give it a name, and since I don't need a huge file size, I'm gonna go with 512 by 512, which happens to be the default for Stable Diffusion 1.5. So if you don't need something super high res, that's a good place to start, but feel free to change this to however you need. I also wanna make the background black. This will come into play as we use Control Net. And then I'll hit Create. I'll be creating a logo for this YouTube channel, One Giant Leap. Like and subscribe below. So in my case, I wanna start with text. This step is to create the basis, basically the foundation for what our logo is sort of going to look like. If it's text, add that here in roughly the right size and shape that you want it. And if it's a more abstract logo, use some of the tools, paint brushes, shapes, or even import another image to use as the baseline. The idea here is just to create a rough outline, which we'll then send over to Stable Diffusion to get it in the style we want it, add details, all that kind of fun stuff. So this is what I ended up with. I wanted rounded corners, obviously OGL, one giant leap, subscribe below. And my idea is I wanna turn this G into like an Android's head with him facing the left. Once you're done with that, just hit confirm. And you could stop right here and put this in stable diffusion right away. Since I have this idea about this Android head though, I wanna give a little more detail to it so that as stable diffusion is dreaming up these different logos for me, it has a better chance of arriving at kind of what I'm, what I'm imagining. So what I'm gonna do is go into a brush tool. I'm going to just paint in a little bit of white. I'm going to create a new layer on top of my text and I'm going to draw a nose right here and draw in like a neck and shoulders. So something roughly like this. This does not require artistic talent. I mean, I'm going to be the first one to admit it. I have no skill. So this is, this is super easy. Just get it somewhere close. This will be good enough. I'm just going to fill everything in. I'm gonna add just a little something here for an eye. Let's give him a tiny little mouth. And then that's good enough. Again, you can spend as much time as you like here and that's enough for me. If I don't like it, I can always change it, uh, but we're gonna start right here. When you're completely done, go to File, Export As, PNG. All right, so next is the fun part. Open up Stable Diffusion. I'm using Automatic 1111. If you don't know any of the words I just said, shout out to Olivio, Sebastian, AI Entrepreneur and Matt Wolf, they all make amazing tutorials that will teach you everything from the basics to the most advanced stuff in Stable Diffusion. So go check them out. And hopefully this channel will join their mighty ranks in the near future. Subscribe below. So I'm gonna experiment around with different prompts, different checkpoints, and the main thing I'm gonna do here is use Control Net. So I'm gonna drop the image I created into Control Net, hit Enable, I'm gonna use Canny, and I'll come down here and hit preview annotator results just to make sure I'm getting something close to what I want. And this is it. So if you haven't used control net, again, go check out some videos, but basically this is gonna make my text to image sort of conform to this shape that I've created. So this is the real fun part of this process. I'm gonna experiment around and check back with you in a moment. Before that though, I wanted to show you some options for starting points. The first one is to come over to lexica.art type in a keyword, make sure you're filtered to Stable Diffusion 1.5, and then look through the images that are generated. You can click in here on the ones you like, copy this prompt and paste it into Stable Diffusion. You can go as far as copying the seed, guidance scale, dimensions, and try to get this exact image. But really, I just like to use Lexica as a starting point for some of the keywords that I'm gonna use. It's also important to mention that these are only for the base Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. So if you're using a custom model, you can still use these uh, prompts however you like, but they're generally not gonna work quite as well as something tailored to that model. If you have a custom model in mind, use something that has sort of the general style of what you're looking for. So I like Dreamlike Diffusion for this purpose. It's really colorful. It has this kind of cool artistic quality to it. And you always have the option of just basically stealing one of these prompts. If you scroll down, click into one of the images, many of them will have the prompt, the negative prompt, and then all the sampler and, and other information down here, which you can copy and then just tailor it again to what you're looking for. In my case, I just hand wrote this. Um, I didn't actually copy anything, just wrote out some keywords, a very basic uh, negative prompt, and you can see I'm already getting some pretty cool results. I'm seeing the head show up where I wanted it to be, there's a neck and shoulders, and the O and the L are still prominent in a lot of these generations. 
One part of the prompt that I found really important is using the word typography. If you include this word, you're gonna get a lot more coherent like O, G, and L or whatever words you're looking for. If you leave it out, it will be more abstract and creative. Um, so feel free to use this and use it at whatever weight you like. My process when I'm working on a prompt is to change like one or two keywords at a time and then give it a generation. I use a batch of two because sometimes if you get a really weird seed, you won't get an image that's like truly representative of that, of that prompt. So two to four is a good batch size to use. And I'll just keep iterating through different prompts and different prompts until I get something that I'm looking for. I'm wanting to see a little more like sort of wiring and circuitry and I, I want it to look more robot-like. So I'm gonna add words like circuitry, motherboard, wires, and I'm gonna emphasize them to make sure I'm, I'm getting those included in the generations. So now you can see I'm getting more of that cyberpunky sort of look, but I'm also losing some details in the face. So I'm gonna just keep iterating on this until I can get something uh, pretty close to what I'm imagining. The other thing I don't like here is that I'm getting a little too much prominence of this eye and mouth. I'd actually rather just let Stable Diffusion sort of imagine those details in. So I'm gonna go back to Photopia, remove that eye and mouth, and then replace my control net here. So after a while of experimenting with prompts, you can see I came up with a lot of different options here. So all of these slightly different tweaks on the prompts, and honestly, some of these are good enough that I could just take it and use it straight away. What I'll do for now is narrow it down. I'm gonna to go to the generations I like. This one looks pretty cool. I'm gonna hit F2 to rename it and just put an underscore on it. That way it'll jump to the, to the top or bottom of my file browser. So I'll just do this for a few candidates and we'll see where we can get from there. So here are my top five images that I liked the best. Honestly, any of these are good enough. I could just throw it up onto my channel right now. Although if I wanted to experiment more, I could take one of them that I liked, but maybe want to tweak a little bit, drop it into PNG info, and then send it back to text to image, send it to image to image, or I can inpaint and add some more details to it. The ability to iterate here is just unlimited, so I will stop it here. I hope you found this useful, and this is a small brand new YouTube channel, so I'll see you in the comments.